And we'll start in a few minutes here, folks. We're just waiting for uh, for everybody to be able to get in. Thank you so much. Everybody picking their paintbrushes. <laughs> 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 what is this painful like that? Oh, it's okay, beautiful. It's okay. You're just doing your favorite move. She may be getting a little sleepy. I'll, I'll take her if she gets irritated. You okay? Yeah. 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 And we'll get started here in a few minutes, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'm so happy to be here with a Cree of uh, Project Human X and uh, Masterpiece, correct? Yes, Masterpiece. Masterpiece, yes. Good reminder that art is for all ages. Um, <laughs> it is about three o'clock, so perhaps we will get started. I'm going to get started with just a few few introductions here before we get Peyton, because I bet everybody's excited to get to get started. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us today. This is our first paint party of the day. We have two. Uh, today, uh, right now, is the uh, beginner session. And so we're really excited for that. And then right after this, we will have the intermediate session. Um, and uh, even if you don't have your paint kit for that, uh, feel free to watch along and then you can get a paint kit from Project Human X if you're interested in uh, doing that painting later. So thanks again so much for joining us. Uh, we'll go over just a few little things. Uh, we have a pretty, pretty easy, simple schedule today. First, we'll just introduce Carbondale United as well as our amazing local artists and their art businesses. And then we will get right to painting with Cree and we're so excited. So as I said, uh, if you can't paint now, if you can definitely paint later. Uh, this summit is being live streamed on Facebook and YouTube. And after the summit ends, there will be a recording made available on CPL's YouTube channel. So that means that if you don't finish your painting today, or if you have any questions later, you can refer back to that recording on Carbondale United Virtual Summits playlist, which is on the Carbondale Public Library YouTube channel. I'm sure you can also find the video on Facebook by looking at the CPL Facebook page or the Carbondale United page. That also means that if you are uh, joining us through the Facebook live stream or on YouTube and you didn't register and you don't have a paint kit, you can totally go back and purchase a paint kit from Project Human X and paint along with the recording later. Uh, so that will be available to you later. So a few things. Um, just wanted to say that if you need help or you have a question, uh, if you have a question about the painting, if you have a question about anything, if you're having a tech problem, um, there are two ways to submit your question. If you are viewing the summit in Zoom, you can use a Q&A function. If you want to submit that question anonymously, you can check the send anonymously <laughs> box and uh, we'll get with you. And we will make sure um, to ask Cree any questions while she's painting, if you have any questions about the painting. And if you are viewing this summit on, on Facebook, uh, you can just comment on the live stream and uh, we'll, we'll get back with you. If you're having a technical problem, just raise your, uh, use the raise hand function and somebody will get with you and we'll make sure that you're taken care of. So. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is a Carbondale United event. We've been putting on uh, virtual summits for a few months now during uh, this crazy pandemic. And thank you so much for joining us for this summit and all the previous summits. The mission of Carbondale United is to provide an avenue of healing and community safety through the following, awareness, education, and activism. Our goals are to eliminate gun violence and racism from our neighborhoods and to provide events that are inclusive and diverse. Uh, make sure that you keep in touch for upcoming events. You can find us on Facebook at Create a Better Community 15, or if you just search Carbondale United. There's also an Instagram, and you can also email us if you have any questions. We do have some really amazing summits coming up for 2021, so make sure that you follow and keep in touch. So, 
main event of today. I would like you to meet your local artist, Cree Glance of Project Human X. Cree Sahita Glance is a co-founder of Project Human X Community Art Center in Carbondale, Illinois. She studied biological anthropology at Southern Illinois University. She's traveled to different countries to study beloved primates, such as chimpanzees in Quebec, Canada, and lemurs in Retomafana, Madagascar. During her travels, she found a love for connecting to different cultures through art. Art, Cree believes, I believe too, is the greatest translator. When she returned back to the United States, she made a vow to herself that she would give back to her own community in a way that would be beneficial. She met her husband, Marquez Grogan, who is also the co-founder of Project Human X, at the first Project Human X art experience in an apartment. They quickly fell in love and established Project Human X on November 15th, 2019 on Carbondale's The Island. Their mission is to celebrate culture and creativity within the community. They dream of building art centers across the world and returning to Madagascar to continue service work. Cree is currently a mother of a nine-month-old daughter named Masterpiece, who you have met today and continues to do community work through Project Human X. So thank you so much for joining us today, Cree. I am so excited. I hope you're all excited to start painting. So let's get painting. Thank you so much, Cree, and I'll hand it off to you. And it looks like we got you muted, so I'll make sure that uh, we can get you, we can get you unmuted here. Give, so give me, there we oh, okay. go. We're good to go. Here thank I you am. so much. I, I said thank you for that wonderful introduction. Hey everybody, welcome to Project Human X, Carbondale United, uh, Carbondale Public Library and the Women's Center. Paint night, <laughs> virtual summit. Thank you. Yes, um, Project Human X has, has been uh, wonderfully, wonderfully healing for myself and for the community. So I'm happy to do the, these events for um, our community and to keep, um, things creative um, during this time, even if it's in the home. So thank you. So tonight we are going to paint a snowy Christmas tree with the moon in the background. It's really simple and I'm going to teach you guys how to make this step by step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, something you guys should know is if you look inside your paint kit, you're going to have a square brush. A square brush that is in the shape of a square. And a, and a round brush that's a little more pointy towards the end. So those are gonna be your two main brushes that you're using for this painting. So our first step is you're going to take your square brush. Mine is a little larger because I have a bigger canvas. And if it's in water, take it out and um, make sure you dry it. Take out all the excess paint. Let me grab a paper towel. Get off all the excess paint and water. Mm -hmm. And our first color we're going to use is our dark blue. You're going to paint about two thirds of the canvas this dark blue color. About right here. And we're just going to paint the whole thing this dark blue color. I would suggest going from one end to the canvas to the other in big motions. This gives it a, a sleek, composed look instead of going like like that, um, short strokes. Do nice long strokes of the paint. Something that's amazing about painting is every little thing 
matters that you do on it, even the way you stroke the canvas. Mm -hmm. I love the color blue, it's really calming. It's like, this shade of blue is like a, the dark part of the ocean. When the ocean gets really deep, that part of it is a, a darker shade of blue. It's what this looks like. And it's really beautiful. Now be mindful of not using too much paint right here. You don't want to glob it up too thick because we're going to have to let this part of our canvas dry for a while because we're going to put the moon on here eventually. But if your painting's really globbed up with blue paint, then it's going to take a long time for it to dry. Is anybody making this a gift for somebody special? You know, I might make this for someone special. I want the bottom of it to be very sleek down here. like the horizon of the ocean. Mm -hmm. And that's our first step, just painting it two thirds of the way down, dark blue. Very simple. So next, you're gonna wash off the same brush, your square brush in the water. <laughs> Make it do a little dance. Then take it out and once again, take off all the excess paint because next we're going to use white and we don't want to get our dark blue mixed in with this white. So on your palette, you should <clears throat> also have a turquoise. <sighs> My colors are almost all mixed up, but that's okay. You know how to navigate this. Our next step, we're going to make the, the snowy hills. And I'm going to mix a tiny, tiny amount of turquoise into the white. <clears throat> I have to do this carefully because of my palette. But this tiny portion of turquoise and the white should make a really nice, very faint, um, blue it's like a sky blue or a, a baby blue and i'm going to use the same brush and watch me i'm going to make curved lines gently curved lines that resemble hills so the motion i'm doing is like a a very loose and wide C, the letter C, and it's backwards. Wow. Yes, paint. That was my daughter, my little helper. Hey. Can you give mom a kiss? Hey. Mm. <laughs> She really just said something. Mm -hmm. She's been quiet this whole time, and then she decided to say, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But we're going to continue doing this healing motion because it resembles snow hips. I love first snow. It's nice and thick and you wake up to it the next morning. And then it, you know, that's enough. It can go away after that. I like to look at it, not really in it. Don't want to make a disaster. Okay. Here go the hilly motions. Curved motions. Cool. So we've got our base coat. To make this look um, a little more poppy, add, we're going to add a couple hints of the other blues. So I'm gonna take the same brush without washing it off and dip a tiny bit in the, the turquoise and make some streaks of turquoise. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to do the same thing with the dark blue, just that tiny, tiny bit. And make some streaks. And the dark blue. It really makes a difference. It makes a tiny difference, but it wouldn't look the same without. Now you can go back and forth to the turquoise, to the dark blue. seeing what looks the best. Maybe you don't like the dark blue, so you want to use more turquoise. That's fine. It's your painting. And your painting is great however you want to make it. Nobody's here to tell you what to do or, you know, it's your creation. Oh, man. Okay, this is a great example for something that could happen to one of you guys. I accidentally got a hint of purple and yellow in my brush. And I made a, a stroke on, on my canvas and I don't want that to happen. I don't really like how this looks. And when I don't enjoy something I just did, I simply take my paper towel and I dab. So I'm going to paint off very lightly. And then I wash off my brush. And I paint over it. Woo! Problem solved. So if that happens to you guys, remember acrylic is great because you can paint over it and you can't tell that that was there. Okay. So next, we're gonna put this brush away. No more square brush. Hmm, it's looking pretty good. I like how this looks so far. Let's wave our painting a little. We want it to dry so we can paint on it some more. Dry, dry. Dry the paper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Painting requires patience. Because sometimes if we go too soon, we'll make a mistake that we knew we could have prevented by just being a little patient. So I'll give it about mm, 30 more seconds. Mm -hmm. 
I need some more white. One second. Hmm. All right, next we're going to use the other brush, which is the round brush. The round tip. We're going to Whoa there. We don't want that to happen. It's like a disaster just wants to happen on this live program for some reason. <laughs> and you know what? If it does happen, y'all need to make it go viral. <laughs> Make it a gif, make it a meme, anything. Okay, so this is dry to an extent that I like because we want a little bit of blue to get into it. So anyways, we're um, using our round brush, which is the other brush that isn't in the shape of a square. And we're going to use white to make our moon um, in this corner. Okay, so take your brown brush, dip it in the white, and simply make a circle. A large circle, a big old circle in the corner. Make sure to leave some space over here because that's where your tree's gonna go. Nice big old circle. Like it's the moon and you can't miss it. Is the moon. And then take your round brush and color in the rest white. You'll notice that the blue mixes in a little bit because it's not fully dry, but that's okay. That's a cool effect that we want. We are going to layer it with more white afterwards. Hmm. It is cool going in this uh, swirly motion. Swirly, swirly, swirly motion. This is the first coat. I'm so happy people are painting with me right now. It's really relaxing. It like you doing this for yourself right now is it's great. It's a gift. And I'm sure some of you are doing this for like self-care and just doing something new and uh, you should give yourself a pat on the back. Well, not with your brush in your hand because then you're gonna sprinkle paint everywhere. Or like, give yourself a hug, something. But that's great of you to do. So once again, we're gonna dry the painting. <laughs> We're gonna fan the painting. <laughs> and next we're going to paint the tree over here while the moon draws. Okay. Ooh. That's nice and dry. That's good. 
Okie dokie. So next, we're gonna take the same round brush and wash it off. Take off the excess paint. And right now we are still using white. And we're going to make a large white line going down. That's the tree. Basically the, the tree trunk. That's not going to be very visible because we're going to take the round brush once again. You don't have to wash it off. And we're going to start at the top making small lines that are curved going outwards. And you're gonna get bigger towards the bottom. This is a fun motion. This painting is so blue, it's pretty. I wonder what y'all are eating for dinner tonight. I need some of these. Keep going till you reach the bottom. Keep going, keep going. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Going, keep going to the bottom. And you'll see that your tree is coming out. It's looking like a tree. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Keep making it bigger. Sometimes I gotta take a, like a step back to see what it's really looking like, how it's coming out. Mm -hmm. And then we'll lay a bit of leaves on the bottom. It's very faint. Right. Okay. And as you can see with this one, some blue has like meshed in with the white and that's okay because if you want it to be whiter, you can go um, over it again with white again. Let's add a couple more leaves up here. I want it to be a tall tree. Yeah, it's like it's like its little hairstyle. Okay, is this dry? Fan the moon. And if you can do it at the same time, fan the moon and wash off your brush. And <laughs> clean off the excess with your paper towel. And now well, let's paint our second coat of white on the moon with your round brush. Ooh, ooh, it's coming out more white. Ooh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
go. Make it real nice. I'm loving how this looks so far. If your moon was way too damp, you can give it a couple minutes. Don't color it just yet. This is a huge moon. If this moon was real, I'd want, like if this happened out of nowhere, I'd want to find a way to get off the planet. Like what is happening? The moon is huge today. Looks like it's come closer <laughs> to Earth. What's going on? It's pretty, but there's something going on. I don't know. I'm just gonna pipe. Mm -hmm. mm. We're gonna need another layer back in this one. But it is looking very pretty so far. Okay. Now, wash off your brush once again. Dry it. We're, gonna, we're still using white. We're still using the color white. I'm going to need some more of it myself. And let's get back to the tree. Let's take another coat on top of the tree. Just so it pops a little more. Ooh, that's, that's a big difference. That's a Really big difference. I'm happy we're doing this. For any of you that um enjoy glitter. I think this painting would be amazing with some glitter, like on the on the moon or the the tree. Just saying, if any of y'all got glitter at home. Swish, 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 swish. We're doing swishing motions. Swish it up. Same motions as last time with this tree. The colors are starting to pop out. Okay. And once you're satisfied with it, you can put your brush down. And check on your moon. Hmm. How you doing, moon? You're still pretty wet. I'm gonna let you dry some more. What should you look good? Oh, oh, this thing. Oh. I'm gonna have to use something else next time. You can tell the truth. Okay, so now we're going to wash off this round brush. It's still going to be the brush that we're using. And let's get to the fun, colorful colors that are going to go on top of our tree. Wash, wash, wash. So all these colors are going to be little polka dots. When you go from one color to the next, make sure you wash off your brush because you do not want to necessarily like mix the colors uh, for say um, purple and yellow make brown. So unless you want brown uh, ornaments, which is fine, uh, I wouldn't do such a thing. So first I'm gonna go to my purple. 
And I'm going to make some little dots. Resembling ornaments. I want to leave enough space for all the other colors too. So now I want to wash off my brush, get off the paint. Next, I'm going to go to red. And I'm going to make little dots. Little dots everywhere. Little dots on the Christmas hair. Little dots right here and there. Okay. Then once again, wash off my brush. Take off the paint. Next, let's go to green. Then our last mouse, the yellow. You hear that? That is my daughter. <laughs> Making happy sounds. About an eight month year old. Little baby. <laughs> Main masterpiece. Okay, um, so that's our Christmas tree. Voila, the Christmas tree is done. What? We still want to do a little bit of uh, like detailing on the moon. So let's wash off the brush and take your round brush again. And let's color in a little, one last coat of white. Trying to get rid of the, like the really blues part, the blue part. And then, this is the cool part, and actually our last step, we're going to make some cool looking craters on the moon. And it's going to be out of dark blue. So once you're finished um, making those adjustments onto your moon, just give it, give it about 30 seconds to dry. And then we're going to mix a small portion of white into the dark blue. Just a small portion. So it's not too, not too dark, but just a little bit lighter. And we're going to make our craters. So to make craters, craters are like, like blobs. So we're gonna make blobby shapes on the moon. Some are bigger and some are smaller. But I'm using my round brush to do this. And I'm making a dabbing motion to make a blobby shape. There goes one blobby shape. Let's make one here on the side. 
Because the screw is on the wall on the side. Give us another lovely shape. Let's make another one over here. This is a kind of globby you know, It's nice and thick. And some gloves up there, some gloves over there, and mm, yeah. Once you feel satisfied with it, that is going to be your cratery blue moon and your colorful winter Christmas tree. Well, that was the last step for this um, beginner level painting. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. And um, yeah, please um, give us a follow on Facebook or on Instagram at Project Human X. And um, do look forward to collaborating with you on more paintings soon. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for painting it with us for the beginner class for today. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Cree. And uh, just wanted to say thank you so much to our co-sponsors, um, Carbondale United. Thank you so much for putting this on in conjunction with the Women's Center as well as Southern Illinois Unity Coalition. And of course, thank you from uh, Carbondale Public Library. If I didn't mention, I'm the teen and youth librarian at Carbondale Public Library. And we're so happy to work with everybody on this event. And of course, special thanks to our artists. Thank you so much, Cree. And at five o'clock today, we will have our intermediate paint party. And that will be with Alexis Estes of Lexi's Art Room. So if you have any questions, please just email carbondaley915 at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow Project Human X on Facebook, as well as Carbondale United on Facebook and uh, the rest of our co-sponsors. Also wanted to mention that if uh, you did a painting today, if you share a painting, if you share a picture of your painting on the Carbondale United Facebook page, we can give you a prize because we do have a bunch of wonderful prizes still from these summits that we've been doing for these past few months. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. And thank you from uh, Charis Pit Pitlick. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I am so happy that you and Josiah had fun today. Uh, we had a lot of fun too. And uh, be sure to check out for the recording. We'll have that up here um, later this week. And uh, we hope that even if you don't have a paint kit for the intermediate, that you can check out the recording and maybe pick up a paint kit from Project Human uh, later. Uh, and make a beautiful gift for the holidays. So uh, don't forget to share a picture of your painting for a prize if you share that on the Carbondale United Facebook page. And thank you so much for joining us today. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much.